So in this problem, ladies and gentlemen, these are the zeros, right? And this is what I remember, this is what I told you guys at the beginning of the last problem. If you know the zeros, can you find the factors? Yes, what is our process? We have the zeros, we set each of our zeros equal to x. Remember, complex zeros have conjugate pairs. If you have i, then you have to have negative i. If you're given negative i, you have to have positive i. It doesn't matter if it's a binomial or a monomial, or if it's a complex or just an imaginary unit. You always have to, do, always have, to have the conjugate pairs. Now, we set them equal to x. Well, this one's a little bit diff different because now you have, to set, you have to get both of these off that side. So here's what you're more familiar with x minus 4 equals 0. But here, you have to subtract a 2 and add an i. Here, you have to subtract a 2 and subtract an i. So therefore, you're left with x plus i minus 2 equals 0. x minus i minus 2 equals 0. Does everybody see what I did? Yes? I would leave x as positive. You could do that as well, but you want to solve for x, though. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. That's fine. You can do it that way. There's not a problem with that. I always like to keep x positive, though. For me, it just makes things a little bit easier because I'm dealing with less negative signs. So then, what are the factors? Well, if these are all your, these are your 0 set equal to 0, that's what your factors are. x minus 4, x plus i minus 2, x minus i might, or why is this? OK, yeah, x minus 2. These are what you call the factor, about what we call the what? The factors, right? Yes? These are your factors. These are your zeros. These are now your factors. That's why I said, hey, when 3 was a 0, what did we, how did we quickly know what the factor was? It's x minus 3, right? You can quickly figure out, if you're given a 0, what the factor is. Now, we have to multiply these to get the polynomial, right? So there's a, there's a quick step to do this, or an easier way to do this. However, what have we learned in this class? You guys, could have e you guys could have done this without me teaching. You're basically multiplying a trinomial times a trinomial, right? Three terms times three terms. What I described in class was using the box method. Is that something that's totally possible? Do we know how to multiply complex numbers? Yes. X times x is x squared. X times i is ix. X times negative 2 is negative 2x. X times negative i, negative ix. Um, negative, I times, negative i times i is going to be a negative i squared, which is, um, so remember that's a negative i squared. i squared is negative 1, so that turns into a positive 1. Does everybody see that? Negative i times i is negative i squared. i squared is negative 1. Negative times negative 1 is positive 1. Does everybody see that? Yes? No? OK. Negative i times negative 2 is a negative 2i. I'm sorry, positive 2. <sighs> OK. Um, I'll just write that as 1. Negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. Negative 2 times i is a negative 2i. And negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. Now, let's look at the diagonals. Usually, the diagonals combine, right? Well, here, what do these combine to? What do those combine to? 0x, zero which is just 0. What do these combine to? 0i, zero. Zero right, which is just 0. So therefore, I'm left with x minus 4 times x squared. These combine to 4x. And then these combine to 5. So it's minus 4x plus 5. Does everybody see that? Yes? No? Now, I need to multiply binomial times a trinomial. Can we use the same box method to do that? Yes, we can. So we have x minus 4, x squared minus 4x plus 5. 
x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 4x, negative 4x squared. x times 5, 5x. x squared times negative 4, negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times negative 4x is going to be a positive 16x. 5 times negative 4 is a negative 20. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, when you have the zeros, 4, negative 2, 2 minus i, and 2 plus i, you now have the polynomial x cubed minus 8x squared plus 21x minus 20. It's just about applying the skills that you guys are given. There's nothing in this problem.